Praise be Jesus Christ. Today I want to share with you some messages that a priest from Slovenia who had the stigmata received allegedly from the Blessed Virgin Mary. This priest was visited by the Blessed Virgin Mary reportedly close to 500 times between 1989 and 1999. And I'm getting all of this from the World of Marian Apparitions, which is the book of the month this month, the month of May. These apparitions have not yet been officially approved by the church, but an archbishop was commissioned to investigate them. And so far, everything is positive. It says the commission's official position is that the individual believers must be guided by their own conscience. So they're continue to, to investigate, but so far everything's positive positive. Um, very interesting, this priest, Father Spellick, it says at, the, uh, at 15 years old, he fought in the ranks of the Liberation Army. He believed that communism was the only path to a better world. And then later he became a teacher and he found a Bible and he began to read the Bible. He had a conversion and he felt that he was called to the priesthood. So he began to study theology, which was difficult in a communist country. And he wasn't ordained till he was in his 60s. And there's a lot of beautiful things about his life. One of the messages he received was that he was supposed to bring prayer back to a forgotten and abandoned place in Slovenia. And it was a hill where there was an old church that used to be for centuries a place of fervent Marian devotion. Uh, but during the Second World War, it was destroyed and desecrated. For half a century, it stood half in ruin and forgotten. So he, he receives this message. They find out about this place. They rebuild it. Within three years of receiving the message, they rebuilt it. And the sanctuary was restored. And once again, attracts crowds of people who have a wonderful devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. So there's all kinds of nice uh, details here. But I want to share with you some of the messages. I believe these are significant. First of all, the Blessed Mother reportedly told Father Spellick that ignorance toward the signs of the times is like a blind man walking in, un in an unknown place. And so a number of times she speaks about the importance, we need to read the signs of the times. And this is something I've been saying for years, the world has gone bonkers. And we need to recognize what's going on in the world from a biblical perspective. We need to interpret the, the events of the world from an in, a, a biblical and a Christological perspective. Um, she also, this is beautiful, she calls us to pray the rosary. And oh, by the way, I have my Mary's Meals shirt. This is an organization that helps feed children who are needy. Anyways, with regard to the rosary, she says she wants us to discover the mysteries of this prayer. Each mystery is a source of living water. Pray with your lips, heart, and soul. And then she, she says, be vigilant, remain faithful, for you live in difficult times, but even more difficult times are ahead of you. And I'm, I'm convinced of this. Because we're so defiant of God's law, I think things are going to get worse before they get better. So we need to be vigilant. We need to pray. Okay. And then she talks about what, what she, she calls theological science. People who are into theology from kind of a technical perspective but don't have faith. She says, theological science destroyed the faith of many. Because of their lack of faith, they spread a merely ordinary human theology. Many, therefore, fall into a crisis of faith. And we see this, I'll say it, in some of our uh, German leaders. Some of them, they're totally into the latest sociological and anthropolo anthropological theories, and they're setting aside what Scripture clearly teaches. And it's awful. She says, they want to interpret everything rationally. They claim that no miraculous interventions of God exist, that no angels exist, and that there is no father of evil, no evil spirits. And you can, I could quote fairly prominent church leaders who don't believe that the devil's real. He's just some kind of construct we made up. She, she goes on to say, Pray, my children, for the superiors of the church so that they develop a true theological teaching that strengthens faith and does not spiritually destroy others. Anyways, there's more. Uh, the, the world of Marian apparitions. Uh, beautiful, beautiful messages and I think important messages. Now I have a scripture for you speaking of this 
um, church on a hill. This is from Revelation. In the spirit, the angel carried me away to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It had the glory of God and a radiance like a very rare jewel, like jasper clear as crystal. Viva Cristo Rey. 